hair is just, there's nothing I can do with it anymore. I literally just clipped it up and then I put a sweatshirt on, so that's fine. Don't even match. Uh, uh. I'm just gonna take you guys with me. Y'all know there's no camera just sitting there transitioning me walking into my kitchen. Like I get it, it looks cool, but it's just funny, right? It's just a little funny. Anyways, alright, let's go. Oh, goodness. Okay. Okay. Filling up my water. Don't worry. Guys, I've legitimately have had just these beer cans in my fridge since I moved in. And I don't even know what I was even thinking. I don't even drink beer. I bought them for myself. Is the funny, is the funniest. Party ball. Drink your water, kids. Hey guys, so, um, okay, hold on. Yeah. Yep, we're gonna do it like this. So there's a couple things in the video that I forgot to add in. So webcam version, Franny, that's me. Uh, it's just gonna be popping in and uh, explaining a couple more things in depth or add-ons or whatever, you know, cause I feel like I ramble on the video. I wanted it to be super organic and natural. I didn't wanna be sitting there with a bunch of bullet point notes and feeling like it was a very uh, serious video. I'm gonna be honest, I finished editing this video and I didn't even want to upload it, but I'm going to because I don't think I'll ever film this and be happy with it. So I'm just gonna do it. I hope you guys like it. I love you. Alright guys, so I was looking through my camera roll and I don't even recognize the person I was five years ago. I am flabbergasted. I just was so shocked by what I looked like five years ago. And I look at those photos of myself. I was also in a horrible state of mind. My mental health wasn't the best. I just, yeah, it just wasn't good, you know? So disclaimer before getting into this video, I will be talking about, you know, an eating disorder, about my acne, about, you know, cosmetic procedures that I've gotten done. So I just want to let you guys know before getting into it. And also, I don't want you guys to think I am being mean to this old version of myself. I think I look at these photos and I'm just happy that I know that this old version of me came out on the other side in a much better place, mentally, physically, and just knowing that I love myself so much more now is just a crazy thing to just see. And, and that's why I'm doing this video. I just wanna talk about little things that I did to improve myself. I'm not, I don't want this video to be a super serious video. I wanna be super lighthearted. So like, that's why I'm saying, I'm not trying to be mean to myself. I am just genuinely gonna be showing you guys what I looked like before and what I did to help myself now. All right, well, let's first start off with my acne because my acne was not insane but it did affect my mental health it was bad enough to the point where i didn't want to go out it hurt it just blistered it was it was a bit of cystic acne i suffered with a lot of texture it was just it's acne you know it's not fun all right so the photo i'm going to show y'all is this one so i had a lot of my acne around my nose around my chin i did get it occasionally on my forehead so that's kind of what i was dealing with unfortunately and then here you could see at the pool this is like a pool photo it was pretty bad so that's what my acne looked like five years ago and you can see now i don't have you know that cystic acne i do suffer with a little bit of texture and comedones which are like blackheads essentially on my cheeks and my forehead still but other than that i will take that over you know what i was dealing with so something that i know for a fact that has helped me so much with my acne is getting a monthly facial. Facials helped me so much clearing out the gunk that I had in my cheeks and all around my chin and my forehead. So getting facials helped me a lot. Drinking a lot of water helped me a ton. I also got a filter for my sink and my shower, guys. So the one on my sink is called Filter Baby and then the other one in my shower is the Jolie Skin and Hair uh, 
hair shower. That was honestly a game changer for even the small acne that I get and the occasional one-off pimples. That is a more recent thing, but that is so amazing. I think we don't realize how much shit's in our water. So the water filter, chef's kiss. I will be using a water filter for the rest of my life or until further notice. And I also use, I think they are called the clear skin paper towels. So they're, they're literally little mini paper towels for your skin to dry off after you wash your face. I think what I've realized with my acne, cause guys, I have done trial and error. I have used so many products. I have done everything. And my acne problem I think is more of like a back bacteria issue that sounds so disgusting <laughs> but i think my skin is just so unbelievably sensitive to chemicals and little bacteria and germs and stuff like that so the second i started using the filtered water and using those paper towels my skin started glowing and i'm not getting those pimples anymore and that's just my skin so that is why i'm using those things even if i was using my towel only for a couple of days it still wouldn't do anything because I was trying to wash my towels more often It just still didn't do anything and then also on top of that washing my pillowcases way more often So that's where I'm at with my acne. That's kind of how I've gotten to where I'm at now My diet honestly, I was cutting out dairy and cutting out a bunch of random stuff when it looked like at its worst And it didn't do anything. So okay, so I completely lied Something that I did take out of my diet uh, were eggs. I took an allergy test and it said I was allergic. And when I did remove eggs, I did notice that the cystic pimples went away. Uh, my body didn't look so puffy. I think just eggs naturally here, at least in America, contain a lot of hormones. Um, and I was already having a lot of hormonal issues. So I think that just was adding too many hormones into my body and was messing me up. So when I removed eggs, I got less cystic pimples and my body kind of deflated a little bit. It was really strange, but it worked. So yeah, eggs was the one thing that I have continued to keep out of my diet. I will eat them occasionally now, but they don't affect me as much because I used to eat a lot of eggs, guys. I used to eat like two eggs a day, three eggs a day, all the time. And I think that was just too much for me. So yeah. It wasn't really too much of the diet for me, but I'm, yeah, I'm realizing I think it's just the water and just the drying and the sleeping on the pillowcases is the game changer for me, which is stuff I never thought about. You never think about the water or you think about dry, like how drying your face could affect it or when you're sleeping, it's affecting your skin. You're just thinking about your diet or not drinking enough water or whatever, right? So yeah, that's my skin journey. That's the skin stuff. And then, you know, if you guys are just curious, my skincare routine, I use all face reality skincare products. I've been using them for the last couple of years and it's all acne safe it helps fight your acne so i love it i love it so so much also i only use acne safe makeup i have this app called acne safe and i will go in and put the ingredients into the app and it'll let you know if it's acne safe or not i'm pretty strict with it i might have a couple of products that aren't acne safe but everything else I make sure it is not going to clog my pores and that has also made a big difference. It's limited my makeup routine a lot where it has limited me going out and just splurging on makeup because I love buying makeup and trying new things, but I've just really had stuck to it and it's helped a lot. It's actually funny, a lot of acne products aren't acne safe, which is, or a lot of skincare products aren't acne safe, which is just funny. To me because they're supposed to help but sometimes they're not so yeah so that's kind of the skin stuff that's kind of how i've gotten to where i'm at and where i've been able to consistently stay with it so crossing my fingers i don't jinx it <laughs> okay so now going on to the cosmetic procedures or things that have gone down to my face it's not really a cosmetic procedure i just don't know what else to call it but i have gotten botox and filler in my face and before i go into this i mean i'm gonna explain why i got each thing but it never was out of me looking at myself and being like, I need to get this because I'm ugly. I never thought that. It was more of like, let me just try it. You know, when you live in a city like LA, I feel like it's just so easy to be like, sure, let me get some Botox. Sure, let me try some filler. It just becomes like a, I don't know. It's, it's not healthy, definitely isn't, but I'm being transparent with you guys. I don't want you guys to think that, you know, my lips for sure are natural or I just want you guys to know I've gotten 
you know, a couple things done to my face, nothing crazy. Everything was a baby dose. I never have gotten a lot done. Let's first start on the Botox because that's the first thing that I got done. All right, so I'm gonna show y'all this photo. I don't know if you can see that on my left side, I look like I have nuts in my mouth. <laughs> Um, I have a really strong masseters and I had no clue what that was, right? So I got Botox in them. That instantly shrunk my face. It was honestly insane. So what you guys are about to see is a photo of when I got the Botox done in my masseters. So the before and after, the, the timeline between them I think was three months. They did put a large amount of units the first time. That is what the before and after photo you're about to see is. It's before I started it and then the first round of it, like right after that, so three months later. Uh, you can see, I mean, you can see the photo, but my, f I just looked like I had nuts in my mouth. Like I was storing nuts in my mouth and I never really thought much of it, which was really crazy. But I just always remember being like, why can't I lose weight in my face? It just never made sense to me. And it always like looked lopsided. Like one side looked so much bigger and it was so weird. But like I said, didn't think much of it. But then when I got it done and I saw before and after photos, I was like, whoa. So I got Botox in my masseters. Then I remember being there and I got some baby Botox. I got some baby Botox in like my bunnies and my forehead. That actually helped a lot with my acne. So Botox actually helps uh, slow down oil production on your face. So that also helped my acne, the filler. So I have lip filler and I also have a little bit of cheek filler, a very small amount. And yeah, that was more so kind of like the baby Botox around my face. It was just kind of like a, why not? Sure, like let's try it out. I never looked at my lips and was like, I need to go get lip filler. I never, I never looked at my cheeks and was like, I need to get cheek filler. It just was something I just did because it was there and it was accessible. And I think when you just like live in LA, it's just so common, which is kind of sad, but I never did it to be like, I need to change my face. I just did it to do it. And I liked it. I, you know, I do very small amounts and I think it enhances my features. So I continue to do it, but I haven't gotten my lips done in years. The fillers has stayed for a while and it's still there. So I just leave it. I don't, I don't touch my lips. And then the cheek filler is, has been, was like kind of recent. It was like less than a year ago, I think. But it was a very small amount too. I mean, I, most people I don't even think could notice, but I do. So I just feel like stuff like this, as long as you're transparent about it and people know that you have it done, I don't want anyone to look at me and be like, I don't want to look like her because she's natural. Even though it's not a lot of stuff done, I just want to be transparent about it. And I like it. And I think if you feel good about it, then, you know, go do it. I don't, I don't think there's a right or wrong thing about getting stuff done to your I think when I was younger, I felt like I was super against it. Uh, but as I got older, I just was like, it's really not that serious. You like how it looks and you love yourself. I think that's all that matters. I don't know. Or I'm just a bad influence. <laughs> I don't know. All right, and lastly, my weight and my body transformation. I don't even know where to start with this. I think to give you a little backstory on why I ended up having a bit of an eating disorder, I definitely suffered from a binge eating disorder. Um, I never was like fully diagnosed, but I, that, I mean, that's what I had. I, I never went to a doctor for it, but I fully would starve myself all day and then binge and eat a ton of food at night, like cookies, and it was just bad. Just a little backstory on how I got there was growing up, I was very thin. I was very thin all my life. I was very athletic. I was very fit. When I moved to LA, I kind of let myself go. I wasn't working out. I was, you know, going through a lot. I had a thyroid issue, which also didn't help. So my thyroid was working very slow. I was taking a lot of naps throughout the day. I just couldn't lose weight. And if you don't know what your thyroid is, it just controls a lot of your hormones, a lot of your, a lot of stuff that's going on in your body. So if your thyroid's off, then a lot of other stuff's off and you just, it, it doesn't allow you to lose weight. It doesn't allow you to sleep properly. It just doesn't let you function properly. Um, I was, you know, thin all my life. And then I gained about, I want to say close to 30 pounds. And that was a big jump for me. And it's not like I gained those 30 pounds in a healthy way. I gained those 30 pounds by eating Taco Bell at two in the morning, not really working out that much. Um, or if I was, I wasn't doing the right workouts. I was eating whatever. I wasn't drinking water. I just wasn't taking care of myself. 
So I think that really affected my mental health because I was so frustrated with myself. Like, why do I look like this? And I don't feel good about myself. I feel horrible. I'll show you guys kind of what I looked like back then. So this photo, for instance, I don't even look like myself. I look like a completely different person. It's really insane, but I was not healthy in like in this photo. I was, oh my gosh, guys, it was bad. I remember I would just starve myself all day and I was only eating protein. I was trying to do a paleo diet. I was only eating protein. I was eating vegetables all day and I would just be starving all day because I was just wasn't eating enough. And then at night I would eat 12,000 cookies <laughs> or I would eat a loaf of bread or I would, it was just bad. And I look at this photo of myself and I just, it's sad because I know what this version of myself went through, but it's crazy to look back at this and then look at myself now. Yeah, so this was before the Botox and stuff too. I want to say in 2019? 2018. That's when I started working out with a trainer and that's when I really was able to work on my fitness and I was able to feel good about myself. I was getting into a routine of working out. I was eating much healthier. I was getting into a healthier relationship with food when I started working out with my trainer because I was afraid to eat carbs. I was afraid to eat carbs. I thought I was going to get fat. I thought I was going to get huge, enormous. And that's not the case because I eat carbs all day long now and I and I still am able to maintain, you know, my body and work out and be comfortable in my in my skin. And that's the thing too. I do not believe in extreme diets because I did them and they're not sustainable. I think as long as you incorporate a healthy lifestyle, you will love the body that you have. And that's where I'm at right now. I eat whatever I want, I drink, I go out, I have a good time and I work out and I enjoy myself. And if I wanna eat four cookies, I eat four cookies. I don't have that guilt that I used to have. So like I said, I think a lot of it had to do with my mental health. That journey of me getting to where I'm at now is, is just crazy. I mean, you know, I'm working out way more consistently. I'm not starving myself. I'm eating more. I think that also was messing up my metabolism a lot. And I think I just love myself a lot more now, which is, I feel like it's just so cliche to say, but it's true. And I just struggled. I struggled so much. I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I did, you know, for my body transformation, but it really wasn't much. A lot of it was just being in a healthier state of mind with myself and taking care of myself and like loving myself. Because once you start loving yourself and incorporating a healthy lifestyle, you will just love yourself no matter what you look like. And I think if I did have that mindset five years ago, I would have loved that version of myself, but I didn't. And you know, all of those horrible mindsets come from seeing people on the internet and comparing yourself and especially living in a place like Los Angeles. Everyone looks so done up and is so fit and you know, beautiful, it gets to you, it really does. But I guess the only other thing that I started to do was hot yoga about two years ago, year and a half ago. No, two years ago, I started doing hot yoga and I love hot yoga. I do like the sculpt workout classes and it's my favorite thing in the world. Um, when I first started working out, I did a lot of weight training when I was starting my journey which I think helped me a lot because I think I had the mentality that I had to run a ton that I didn't do anything. I had to lift weights and that's what helped me actually be toned and fit and feel better about myself. I think I'm just rambling at this point. Moral of this transformation and story. Love yourself. I know a lot easier said than done, but it's possible. I promise you. So I just wanted to add something that helped me a ton get to the point of loving myself and being in a healthier mindset was journaling, writing everything down. I mean, I wrote a whole damn book. And when I tell you guys, it's the best therapy in the world. Um, I also do go to therapy, but I'm telling you, writing helped me so much. And also just being alone. I think being alone helped me realize what i like what i don't like what i'm comfortable in what i'm uncomfortable in and you know what situations i want to allow myself to be in and what situations i don't want to be in so i think just prioritizing myself was just the best thing ever and just being a little selfish with my time. I hope this video gives some sort of inspiration. Someone can take something from it. I don't want you guys to think I'm trying to tell you guys what to do. Not at all. This was my journey. What made me feel better, where I come from. And I just want to share it with you guys. I just wanted you guys to see this journey because I'm proud of it. So yeah.
I guess that's it, huh? Right, Henry? He's dead asleep. <laughs>